played out with trash talking and whatnot. With the game, with the rematch, so, you know, so sure, only two weeks. Do you, do you prefer them to kind of be thinking of that and play with a chip on their shoulder, or do you want it to be more just focused on <coughs> the task at hand? Well, I think ultimately it's the task at hand, but, but once again, uh, when you compete, and I'll take myself, for example, I was a competitor first before I stepped on the floor. I'm competing. I know the most points this guy scored when I played to this day, you know, so I took those things personally. So that's just me as a competitive basketball player. It wasn't okay. The game was over on to the next one. I remember that about it. felt like I didn't play well. That guy had a great game. So, but the bottom line, you're trying to win as a basketball team. That's the most important thing. I, I didn't really think what was said or what Henderson did or wasn't doing was a bad thing. I really didn't. I wasn't even my focus at all. I mean, I was focused on the results and we didn't play well as a team. That was my biggest concern. But you still remember how much a certain guard scored against you from back in your playing days? Yeah, still? it wasn't many. It wasn't many. So I remember. <laughs> but you still have that in your memory. Oh, you have to. I mean, if you're competing. What's the most you gave up? Man. <laughs> Let me see. Five, six, seven. No, no. <laughs> no, I really, I just, I don't recall a guy. Now, Coach Webster seems to think they played well against us at Wisconsin. He's, he's, Mike Finley was his teammate, so he talks about that all the time. He's supposed to continue to bring up this game film. Uh, but no, I, you know, I made it tough on guys. I, I made it hard. I, I took it personal. You know, there were times Coach Katie used to tell me, you need to look at the basket and look at your offense. But I just feel like it just it takes somebody when a guy's scoring baskets. And I, I hate 14 to come down there designing plays for my man to get the ball. I just, I took pride in that. But, I, but I, you know, toughest guy. I got some really good guys. Jalen Rose, Sean Russell, Calvin Cheney, Michael Finney. I mean, guys are really good. Just accept challenges. Coach, how much have uh, Armani and Derek, now that they're getting 15, 20 minutes a game, how much have they changed for the dynamic of your football program? They really help, you know. Because, one, they both can, can handle the basketball. They can make decisions with the ball. They can make plays. Uh, I just think they're growing. They're growing on the fly. And, uh, you know, Monty's case, he's been in practice situations. Uh, it was just a matter of, you know, toning him down. He's always been aggressive, always been tough and hard nosed. So just toning him down, working on a few things. So now you see the results because he's always had the toughness and the skill. In Derek's case, here's a guy that didn't have a lot of practice reps under his belt. You know, he lost about 15 pounds with the shoulder surge. So now he doesn't bang at the level he needs to bang, but he's so skilled. So he makes up for. So now you got to identify him on the floor, especially on the offensive side of the ball, because he can move it, he can make shots, he can make plays. But I think they're doing a really good job, especially in Derek's case, because like I say, he, it wasn't a case where he was in practice and no contact. He wasn't involved. Because a lot of times he's over getting rehab, so he wasn't even seeing the practice. So a lot of stuff is kind of in games I'm learning as we go. But the intangible part, I mean, it, it's, I mean there's maybe some surprise contributions, but they still, you know, they're still skilled guys, so that makes it's not a big surprise. But the last three games, they had one turnover in between. See that coming, that kind of well, you know, the one thing about it, when, when, when you play a style that we play, that one of the biggest things we try to do is take care of the basketball. you got to have guys that can make decisions. And both of those two guys can make decisions with a the basketball. They can make plays with a basketball, and it helps your program. So in recruiting, those are the things that you see. You don't, you don't necessarily see, okay, what, what a star says about a kid. You see a skill level, and it fits what you're trying to do. And both of those guys fit what we try to do as a team. How tough of a matchup is this for Derek at that fourth spot with, with, with Holloway and Buck? Well, I think with, with, with Holloway, you, you ask any, any big in, in the league, in the country for that matter, he's a, he's a tough matchup. He's a six, seven physical presence. He attacks the rim. does a great job using his body, getting rebounds. He's strong. And I just I just feel like the only guy that can truly match up with him at the level is Deron Maynard. You know, when you looked at last season, those guys played well against each other. Very similar frames. Uh, you know, it'd be tough for Derek as a freshman going against a fifth-year guy. Um, but Derek can neutralize him in areas because he has to defend Derek on the other end of the floor. You got to make it tough, keep him in front of you, make him shoot over the top of you. Easier said than done. I guess you keep just addressing the road problems, still win less than true road games. What it, what it says, or I guess it's at the point of the team having to take the next step of being able to win those games? Uh, I, I just think, really, uh, I think the Georgetown, Virginia, Alabama, and Kentucky game, you're right there to the stretch of games. But I think there were spurts in there, especially late in the game, you give yourself a chance to win as a turnover. Uh, uh, Mr. Simon on a defensive side, Miss Box out of Simon, they make a play. And that's what happens when you when you're at home, those opposing teams, they find ways to win games. Uh, we put ourselves in position, now you gotta close it out. Uh, it's hard to say one thing. I just think really 
getting key stops when you need to, uh, not turning the ball over in key situations, and making key plays. Simple as that, in my opinion. You addressed the Derek and Armani, but just how much more depth do they give you, and how much do they increase your opportunities to maybe play with the rotation if you want to cut someone's minutes? Now you have someone you can point to and say he's going to take your minutes. You know, uh, I think that part is understood. You, you give guys opportunities that, that have played and been in your program that are solid. You know, and my thing, and I go back to Cam Tatum, his offensive production went at the level we expected it to be, but he defended, he played hard, he competed, so he brought the, and he rebounded. And he's one of our better assist guys. So you keep a guy like that on the floor, but if you're not bringing any production to the table, then you have to make adjustments and make changes. And all. But those two guys, those, those, those are talented young players. There's still a long ways to go. And they're not pressing to say, Coach, I need to start and play. They're not those kind of guys. And my job as a coach is to put those guys in the best situation to be successful.